Okay, here's a great resource tool, the Blue Letter Bible. I've put in the King James Bible as a search engine, and all I've done is put the word tribulation. You can also put the word tribulations, plural. It occurs 22 times in 22 verses in the King James Bible, including 22 exact phrases shown first. You can also put the word, the plural version, tribulations. And if you do this, it'll show you every mention from Genesis to Revelation of the word tribulation, tribulations, plural. And you will have, you will have then a thorough understanding, biblically speaking, of the word tribulation. Try to find me a verse there that talks about tribulation being a seven year period and that you will not enter into that seven year period or you will not enter into tribulation because you'll be raptured before in a pre-tribulation rapture. There is not one verse to support that theory that was brought about by the likes of John Nelson Darby and C.I. Schofield who were both heretics. Always go to the Bible for your source of information. Do not first believe any man or any woman. Test the spirits and test it by scripture. The word tribulation. From Adam and Eve to the last man standing, there was tribulation. Tribulation occurred when Eve was, was uh, seduced by the serpent into believing, hath God said, and she took the apple. Then tribulation continued when Cain killed Abel, and so on, and so on, and so on. Right through to the, to the day and the hour that we live in now. Tribulation. Tribulation. The only distinction is that there will be a period of great tribulation, which is defined in Daniel and Revelation, lasting for three and a half years, 42 months, 1260 days. Very simple, really. So go and do your own Bible study with using tools like this, and you too can own the truth. Thanks for listening.